welcome to Angie's Craft Corner today. I am going to use this pack and it's a recollection and you can tell it's been around a while. I've painted on it. But I'm going to do an envelope album and um, we are going to have help with Tootsie. This is Miss Tootsie. Can you say hi to the camera? And she's going to try to help me today, I think. And uh, see what kind of mess we can get, she can get into. It's what her deal is. But anyways, she's a ten, she was 10 weeks yesterday. She's a little Maltese. Hyper and into everything, folks. So, anyways, with that being said, I've already cut the envelope out on the Cricut. And if you want the fall, I will share it with you. Just email me at angiescraftcornel.com. And I'll be more than glad to share the fall, Cricut fall with you. But I am going to move the paper pack out of the way because I've picked out my papers already. What I'm going to use. And um, we'll see what we can get done. With help. Oh. And uh, she, like I said, she's wanting involved in everything I do. We've had her two weeks yesterday, <laughs> and she's trying to help. Like I say, whether she's helping or not, she thinks she is. And uh, this is one of the pages I picked out. To use. <laughs> Are you going to help mama? So, I'm going to put her down and let her play. Because she's getting on my nerves. But anyway, she tried to help. <laughs> Okay, and this is the other side of the uh, envelope I decided to use. I don't have too much, if any, double-sided tape. And, uh, or double-sided paper. So, with that being said, I'm just going to put two uh, pattern pieces together and call it done. And I'm using my ATG gun. And this one kind of got tore trying to get it off the mat, but I was trying to do it with Titi on the desk. And I may be hollering at her, so y'all don't think nothing about it. Because I ain't going to tell them what she's going to get into today. And sorry I haven't been around. I just ain't felt like doing crafting today's. Actually, it's not that I really felt like doing anything. I've been scrapbooking some at crops, but as far as at home, I've been sewing a lot and embroidering a lot. I got an embroidering machine the other day, and uh, I've been using it a lot. Okay, I want this as my, this is going to be the front cover, and this is going to be my inside cover, because I want the different corners. And this takes a sheet of 12 by 12 to do. My school lines ain't good. Cricket and score it good. But you can use any envelope pattern you have. I just did this because I just wanted something a little bit unique and different. I have not seen many of these, if any of these, can I think of it, online. 
So, but this is not my idea, so. I can't take credit for it. I wish I could. Okay. I'm going to take my Cricut foam folder. And yes, it's the old one. Okay. Now that we have our base, we are needing one. 12 by 12, 12 by 4 piece. And as of this, I'm going to double my pages because all I've got is single sheets. And I picked out this one and I think this one. Okay. Hang on, y'all. Yes, yeah, she's into everything. And Reba's working at something. I don't see that. Okay, I'm going to take the ATG gun. That is if I can find it. Mm. Is everybody having a good summer? Is everybody ready for the kids to go back to school? Well, there goes that again. School starts here next Monday. I seen online more well, once started today here locally. Oh my goodness. I told you the wrong measurements. It is four. It is seven by twelve is what we need. So I'm like, I looked at it and I'm like, this is not right. And then I had to look, really look at the directions. So that being said, we'll start all over. Again, you, we score it at four inches. So, okay, I am going. Oh, I'm out. I don't know where my tape got my family. Oh, well, we'll use a uh, little glue. 
No biggie. Right, folks? Okay, I'm going to take my trim and scoreboard and score this at every four inches. At eight inch, at four inch. And at eight inch. I'm done that a couple times because I want to make sure it's scored. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just fold it. Y'all, I've never done one of these, so y'all just bear with me. Nothing like doing it the first time on camera. And it's simple because of the two layers of paper. And I'm taking my art little glue. I'm placing it in the middle of my envelope. Just like so. And now we've got a according album. And I'm going to put some sayings. I'm not going to put pictures on this because of privacy and all that. And uh, but we'll s and I'm going to use the um, packs, the embellishment stuff that came with the my pad, the paper pad, and I'm going to cut these out with my scissors. I'm using the um, Paper Studio little red scissors to cut. I'm not sure how many I'll use or what I'll use. So got you choose what you want. I may put some other embellishments on it if I can think while I'm cutting this out. I'm still not being in a creative mood lately, so y'all just bear with me. If you would like to see some uh, sewing videos, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Just let me know. And I'm, I've really been trying, y'all. It's just, I don't know. Just almost been there.
I do not know what she is looking at. Oh, <coughs> she hears or sees something I don't see or hear either one. Okay, I'm going to cut these two out, I think, of this page. And I may come back to that one. me so have everybody went on a big vacation this summer Now, I've got a few of these cut out. And we are going to see what we can create. Okay? We may have to have some. Other solid paper on this. Okay, I'm going to trim this down just a tad with the trimmer to make it fit better. Bad enough, took a whole slew of it off. And I am going to see that's not the green I need. All right. I have picked out a blue, a mint green, and an olive green for this. And uh, we'll see how this all works out. I don't know how I got the mint. I thought I had nothing to do with me yet. Teach me from trying to look. Halfway across the ring.
Okay. No, that one. We are definitely going to eat. <laughs> I'm just taking Aunt Red of Blue and just running that over. I'm sticking a uh, shine bright right here on the inside cover. I'm going to it down just a tad. <clears throat> and I have never made one of these, so y'all just bear with me and enjoy the Go along with the ride with me. So, this may take a while to do. If you've got something pictures in mind, by all means, use them. I just don't. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I just seen it, seen it, and thought it'd be neat to do real quick. Although it's taking longer than I expected, but. I'm putting this tag here. I'm cutting this one down. And if y'all have not heard what happened to my finger, I had a sewing accident. I sewed my finger, ripped the tip of it off. It's not sore, but it's it's getting hung on everything, and I don't want to take my whole nail completely off. I don't have to. So that's with the band one the band aids on my finger. And yes, it did hurt. For the ones that was wandering. I 
Okay, I'm taking this pink piece of pink and I'm making a photo mat of three and three fourths by six and three fourths. Sticking it right here. That is those two pages. Now we've got to do this page, and I'm going to do yellow with this. With the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and just open my trim. Now, I'm not done. I'm going to add some texture to this because to me it's plain. And I just don't like plain today. I've just got to find what I'm wanting. So. With that being said. Do y'all like this? Do y'all want to do y'all want to see more of this type of stuff? Give me some ideas, guys. I mean, I'm serious. I need all ideas and help I can get later. And yes, I make it all fun. Okay, I'm going to put some of this crochet lace down. I don't know, I just think it's pretty. And as y'all can tell, I went looking through my stash. And I'm going to stick it right here. I think right here on this deal. And then I'm just going to run a piece, a thin deal of art glitter glue through here. And if y'all don't know this, art glitter glue will glue fabric.
Okay, and then I'm just going to take some of these drawers and just stick them around in places. To give it some more texture in the mesh. I mean, always use, always dazzle. What are you into, Tootsie? I mean, I'm just taking my little glue again. I'm just going over this. Real fine. And it is pretty colorful, so it don't need, to me, it don't need a whole lot. It's kind of like letting your paper do all the work for you. Now, okay, we got that done. Let's fold the pages in. And I am going to use this so very wonderful. I mean, you can write a message on here or a story about the book or whatever. Yes. You want to do. Mm. I missed the dog into something. Just don't know what. I'm afraid you will. Okay, now the flip side. Now I'm going to leave this out. I mean, I'm not going to put this in the middle or nothing. I'm going to put it on the edge where you'll still be able to add a photo to the other side. To this side. And there we have it. And I think I'm going to use the back row. Mm, if I can find it. It's on my desk somewhere. I guess it is. Okay. I guess. Oh, we'll have to find it. But you can uh, use a tie, some uh, twine to. I don't know what the twine is. To tie it. Like I am, can't tie a bow just a little bit. Just tie it like so with a bow. And 
and there you have it. There's your cute envelope album that is good for like a day trip or maybe even a weekend trip. Depends on how long, how much you do on the in that weekend. But and you can use you know other papers. This is what I use because I had it handy. And I like this paper. So, I hope y'all, and we've done this in less than 40 minutes. I'm proud of us. Y'all have a blessed day. Come back and see us at angiecraftforum.com. And have a great month, Tuesday. And we'll see y'all next time.